Hello there, and once again, we are standing up for the intro. I've nabbed this from yesterday's video, but I really like the energy that came across, especially because I'm free to move however I like. But of course, today we're looking at the Easter seasonal display, which is the last of the four from the last Lego seasonal collection, I guess. There's brand new ones today. We'll get onto them in a few weeks' time. There is actually another secret seasonal display that I will be building in about two weeks time. So stick around from that. And that's from one of the brand new poly bags. But it's definitely not going to be the last seasonal display we build. In fact, me and my fiance built this last night. It's a really cool build to build with two people because they still include two instructions, which is something I hope they keep going forward. I know on the app you can split up a build between you and a group of friends. Lego haven't yet perfected that, so hopefully that's something we see improve in the future, especially if they can split it into two instructions on here. I'd love to see a few more sets split into two or more instructions online. It's great from Lego, and if you saw yesterday's video, you'll know that we improved the look of the Lego acrylic display case just behind me. I've improved it, tweaked it a little bit, but... Not enough to show you, so hopefully that does look better in the background. I've actually cleared the front of it so you can see the minifigures a bit better. I'm really not sure how that's going to come across till I'm editing. But thank you all so much for the recent support on the channel. I know it's going to keep growing and growing and growing, but I really do appreciate each and every one of you that like the videos, that subscribe to the channel, or even just watch my content. If you do watch and you aren't subscribed yet, please do hit the bell. It does support us. And... We are closing in on a thousand subs very, very fast. So let's hit that before May 4th, which is the original deadline I said all those months ago. And so far we are on track. But that's enough of the analytics. Let's get to the desk and look at this set. Now, before I show you the actual Lego display itself, i just like to mention, that as you can see on the box, they've got flowers and eggs all around the box are and not all of them on the actual display itself. And that is because when you're building this set, there's a few pages in the instructions that I think they give you three examples of different ways you can build this set. But like on the back here, they've got the three flowers attached and the eggs just separate. Perhaps you can even play a game of hide and seek with the Lego eggs around your Lego display. That short does sound like a lot of fun. But there's no set way to build this display in terms of where the flowers and eggs go. But of course, as you've seen, I've managed to fit all of them on the base now i did build this with my fiance it does split the setup into two which one person can build the two bunnies one can build the base usually it's someone builds the base and a bird for instance for the valentine lovebirds and the other person builds the other bird but i like this way better because the two bunnies do size up to the same building time as the base roughly especially when i'm playing around with all the eggs and flowers compared to both of you getting one of the characters and then someone getting the base on top. I feel like it's split up a lot more evenly and there is a little more to do with this base here. There's a lot of littler pieces, but one thing I will also say about the building experience is to do with the spare pieces you get. So whilst my fiance was building the bunnies, these are all the spare pieces she got. And if I add all of the spare pieces I got when building the base... Yep, there, there were none. There were absolutely no spare pieces. I don't know why LEGO didn't give us any spare pieces for the base. There are a bunch, well, you can see them in shot. There are a bunch of green flowers, of orange flowers, of green one by ones in here. We've got all of these. We have so many of these rounded off one by one corner tiles. And we get no spare pieces for it. So I don't know if there's a different machine that's stocking all the pieces for the base and they're doing away with spare pieces but i'll have to rate these spare pieces a three out of ten just because we didn't get any for the base and especially the flowers i love getting spare flowers because that's what enables me to stock my lego city with flowers but as with all of them the bunnies are clipped to a jumper tile in fact i don't think all of them are i think the valentine lovebirds had a spinny plate it's just not really possible with the base of this bunny. In fact, it'd probably be easier to clip down because when you are trying to clip it down to the base, you've got to get it at the right angle. And even then, I'm pretty sure the bunny weren't this far forward at the start of the video. But I really like the bunny designs. We get a brown bunny and a white bunny, which are both in a different stance. I think the Valentine lovebirds, even the polar bears were similar builds. But because one is laying down and one is sitting up, 
it's more or less a completely different body so it's not too repetitive besides i guess the feet and the heads are pretty similar but even then they've got them to display the ears in the opposite directions which is really cool it just makes the same build different you can display them the same way if you like they are on a hinge so you can even make a little heart like shape with the ears but i really like how they've got them in the opposite direction and it just adds that little something to the base in fact we can take a look at the base without the bunnies for a second you can see you can fit all of the eggs and flowers on it's a bit complicated to get the last one or two on towards the end especially when you've got like five studs five six seven studs over here and you can't really fit two of the eggs or an egg and a flower or two of the flowers down without having to play around and move the flowers which because they are part of the base the instructions for the base I just felt like it would be wrong moving any of them set pieces and just wouldn't look as nice. I mean, where else are we going to move them to? Unless we take up one of these spots at the back, they're just going to be moved next to another flower anyway. But I'm a big fan of this model. And of course, it is Easter today. Happy Easter to all of you celebrating. So there was not much more of a fitting time to build this set. But we will also be taking a look at all of these other seasonal decorations. I know it's not Halloween, Christmas or Valentine's anymore, but I still have them all on display because, and I'm sure I'll whack another image up just to show you how I display them. But what we do is we display the current one or at least the most relevant one in front of a Ford tier display so you can still see the other three but they're not prominently featured in the display until that season comes around and then we'll shuffle them the front one will go to the back and then we can always look forward to the next display that we will have now first off with the Valentine's Lovebirds I feel like it's a bit unjust because the birds are definitely more bulkier than the other i mean the birds aren't too much more bulkier than the rabbits but they've definitely got a few more pieces than the rest so the base is lacking i like the idea of the tree trunk i think they could have expanded it to this whole branch i guess they didn't want it to look like a just pile of mud i definitely would have liked to seen a bigger tree branch especially with the size of these birds it wouldn't have been too bad and messed with the scout too much but as i said they are on the rotary two by four tiles and again that differs to all of the others that have some sort of jumper plate as you can see the polar bears i guess it's just the first ones they did these are all quite lacking of a base even the polar bears don't have too big a base but then when we compare the halloween and easter displays which i think are the closest two together They've got the bigger build in the cat and it's slightly bigger than the rabbits but then you've got the mouse to balance it out with the pumpkin build as well. Likewise with the eggs and the flowers of the Easter display the pumpkins can be displayed around in any order you really like and it does have that brick built up wedge to one of the sides which I think they should have done with the fun time, the winter time polar bears. I don't know where I got fun time from, but the winter time polar bears, they definitely could have bricked this up, but I suppose this was probably the first one they built. It's the first one we saw, at least, anyway. And out of the four of them, I think I'm going to have to say the Easter one is my favourite. It definitely looks the best. I definitely prefer the rabbits to any of the other animals here, so perhaps there's a little bias here, but... I will leave a poll up in the community tab for you to vote on your favourite of these seasonal displays. And of course, let me know down in the comments if you have any of these. And if you do, will you be picking up any of the new ones? Because there is a mushroom display. It's like a spring picnic vibe that they've gone for. It comes with two hedgehogs. And that actually has a very, 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 very similar base to all of these they've just repositioned it a little bit so do drop a like on this video if you'd like me to pick up that set and review it here on the channel perhaps modify it to fit with these older ones and of course subscribe for more awesome lego content and may the bricks be with you always